Chained. So the first thing you want to do is you want to tune down to E flat. So Eddie's tuned down to E flat in this song. So that would be, uh, you know, E flat. Uh, you know, all the. Look it up. You, you'll know. Uh, yeah. But anyways, another thing you want you want to get a little flange flange on this. Yeah. Okay? Well, turn the flange off now. I'll turn the flange up a little bit. My flange sucks. You want to get Eddie's flange because that is the best, but they price gouge them out. So here's a little flash, see that? So you get that rotating flange, hear that? So you wanna get that coo 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 coo, whatever that is. But uh, that's great. You get a good flange, don't get a crappy one like mine. But uh, anyways, we'll dig right in. So it's gonna be some bar chords, pretty much what it is. Anybody doesn't know what bar chords is, there'll be a link below. So we're going to start out with the D. So actually, with my tuning, it's actually, it's not, it's, uh, so I'm tuned to D flat. Everything's in D flat. So this is actually going to be in C flat because we're actually in drop D. I forgot. So we're, we're in drop D. So the, uh, the, the low E is actually going to be uh, C, uh, yeah, C flat. So it's going to be, instead of C, it's going to be, C flat, so. So we're, gonna, so we're gonna start out with the the D. We're gonna play a D chord on the uh, scale two part. Then we're gonna um, make a suspended four. We'll bring our pinky down on the uh, second string, set eighth fret. See that? So I think the first time he hits the e, the, the open, we'll call it the open E, but it's actually it's the open C. So it's when we hit the uh, we're gonna hit the sixth string open. We'll call it the sixth string. The sixth string open five times the first time, and then most of the other times he hits it four times. He might slip in a five there. Listen for it. So it's gonna be. Now we're gonna go up to B flat. On the scale two uh, type bar chords. And then we're gonna do the uh, suspended four. That's just gonna be the pinky. So what we do when we when I, whenever we do a suspended four, we're adding our pinky down. It's gonna be so for this song. It's always gonna be on the second string. It's gonna be one up from the bar chord. So say right here, the bar chord here on, on my finger is on the third string. I'm gonna go up to the fourth string. I'm gonna come up here and go five, six. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're gonna go. So we're gonna go. So we're gonna hit the B flat. Do the suspended four back to the B flat. So I'm gonna hit the. I wanna hit the E one time. Well, not the E though, the six string open. We're gonna go to C, and then we're gonna do the uh, C, then the C suspended four, then the C. Then we're gonna go back to the D, do the D, then, then the D suspended four. So yeah, so that's the first time. So then, so the second time, yeah, we're gonna go. So this is gonna, I'm gonna do it over again. Yeah, so the second time we're gonna play the D. So now we're gonna come up to uh, F. That's gonna be F on the scale too. So we're gonna. So we're gonna do the F and then the suspended four, which on this one, the suspended four is gonna be on the uh, 11th fret. And then back to this F. And then we're gonna hit the F one more time. 
then we're gonna we're gonna form this chord here, and it's gonna be uh, our first finger is gonna be on the uh, second string, eighth fret. Our second finger is gonna be on the third string, ninth fret. Our fourth finger is gonna be on the fourth string, tenth fret. We're gonna go. Gonna be like a uh, this would be a C. So we're gonna... That's what it's gonna be, but we're gonna play right here. Those are some Van Halen chords right there. So... I don't want, for some reason I don't want to put my first finger down when I play it. So speaking of that, I'm not putting my first finger down. Some people they cheat and they'll go like this. They'll start out. So they're, they're literally just playing the fourth string to the second string with the first finger. But yeah, you want you want to be able to play the bar chords. But if I don't, if I don't see you cheating, then I don't know you're cheating. So it does this a couple times and then everything comes in, the drums come in and everything, they, they do it again. Uh, so they do that part, so we did this part and then does those parts and then so now when it comes into the verse, he's going to go. So what we're going to do there, we're going to go. He's going to uh, hit the 6th string open. He's going to bend the 3rd fret, 5th uh, string. And he's going to put his 3rd finger down on the 5 on the 5th string. And then we're going to go. And then we're going to bend the 3 again. So let's see. So we're going to go open on the 6th string. Bend the 3. Hitting the five on the, the fifth string, and then hitting the open on the sixth string again, and then bending the three, and then try to get a, a pinch harmonic there, and then we're gonna go hit, hit it the open E or open sixth string twice. Now, now we're gonna slide up from three to five with our third finger on the fifth string, and then we're gonna go. We're gonna play the third frets on the fourth string and the third string. We're gonna bar our first finger right across there. See it? Now, now we're gonna slide from five to seven, and then we're gonna go uh, five five. We're doing the same thing. We're barring on the three and five here. See that? So he's gonna go the, on the threes. He's gonna go four three the strings, and then he comes up to the slides up to the seven he's gonna go across the fives uh, it's gonna be three four those are gonna be the strings so that's the, that's gonna be the first phrase in the verse see that I'm doing it nice and slow do it one more time Keep doing that riff, and then he's gonna go. So now he's gonna slide up to where we were on the, the F, but we're just gonna slide up, we're gonna slide up from the here. We're gonna slide up from 5 to 10 on the 4th string. And we're gonna lay our, your 3rd finger flat across the 10th frets here on the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th strings. So we're gonna go. And he's gonna hit the Second string twice, he's gonna go, so he's gonna go 10, 10, 10. It's gonna be fourth string, second string, second string. So we're gonna go, he's gonna go back to the 10 on the fourth string. Then hit the, then he's gonna form this C we did already, which is gonna, you know, this is gonna be the C and what we did in, in the beginning. It's gonna be, so it's gonna be 8, 9 on the second and third string. And he's gonna go, hit the second and third string. 
eight and nine. Okay. So those are gonna be the phrases in the uh, a verse. He's gonna go. So one one good thing about this is if you don't if you don't hit the which I did there right, right now and I wanted to do that on purpose to show you if I don't hit the the second string twice and I go straight across it still sounds nice as I'm playing the chord so I, I can go so, you know, so there's no really wrong note you're just staying in the chord you're, you're doing fine so the next part is really is tricky because you got to listen to it so he, he's the next part after that he's gonna do there he's gonna play I use my pinky but you, you you're supposed to be using your first and third so use whatever you want but we're gonna be pushing down the fifth fret on the fourth string and the seventh fret on the third string and we're gonna go and we're gonna try to get that harmonic on the fifth fret there see that we're gonna go and hit that harmonic three times So we're gonna go. Now we're gonna slide five to seven to three five, same strings, and then back up to five seven. So we're gonna go. And then we're gonna hit the five and the three on the sixth string and the fifth string. See that? So we're gonna do that right after. And then he's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna see so you gotta listen. This is this is the weirdest part. So it's gonna be like we do the five, the three, and uh, six and fifth strings. Back to this five seven. Then we're gonna go three seven. And he's gonna be up here on a seven nine. He's gonna be the fourth string in in the third strings. Now he's gonna go. So he's gonna do the same thing. He's gonna go seven nine. He's gonna slide to five to seven. And we're gonna try to get that harmonic too in there. See that? The seventh fret. And then, and then he's gonna go five. This is gonna be sixth string, fifth string. He's gonna go five. Seven, six, five, three. That's the weirdest part. Then he's going to go back to. And that's all I'm doing today for the guitar tip of the day. So this is. Have a good lesson. I'll do the full lesson if I get some requests for it. Have a great day.